Here's your host, Philip Goldberg. Greetings, everyone. Thank you for tuning into Spirit Matters. I'm very pleased that today's guest is another wise person, Swami Sarvapriyananda. Um, you mentioned uh, the three uh, textual sources of uh, Vedanta, um, one of them being the Bhagavad Gita, which is of all the uh, texts emanating from India would be the one most Americans are familiar with. The first Gita I ever read uh, which had a big impact on me back a long time ago, was the one uh, coming from your lineage, from the Vedanta Press in uh, California, uh, translated by Swami Prabhavananda, one of your illustrious predecessors, and the great novelist uh, Christopher Isherwood. And, and it was uh, singularly interesting because, or compelling, because you had the... Uh, the insight and uh, wisdom of Swami Prabhavananda and the skillful English prose of Christopher Isherwood. But it's always been very frustrating to me because they wrote it in a literary form without numbering the verses. And so you couldn't look things up easily. Now there's a new version, and I, I just wanted to let listeners know about this new version that uh, was painstakingly uh, edited so that the verse, the text remains the same, but the verses are identified. Um, well, I, I, I don't know if I have a question for you, but I just wanted to announce that and, and tell, you know, that was an undertaking of your lineage, and I know it was rather painstaking. Uh, I'm sure you welcome it. That's true. Um, I think it just become more, a, a beautiful book has just become more useful now. Uh, so it was a very fruitful collaboration between Christopher Isherwood and Swami Prabhavanandaji, who was then the, who was the founder of the Vedanta Society of Southern California. Um, so it's very well, poetic, language is very luminous and gets the the spirit of the message across. And now they have been very careful to preserve the original work of you know, Prabhavanandaji and Christopher Isherwood. The language is so beautiful. They just carefully inserted the um, verse numbers so that one can refer it back to um, the original verses. It just makes it more useful and yes. grounded in the original text. And I welcome it. Um, it's a great addition to uh, our understanding. 